Good evening, everybody. I hope you can all hear me. If you can put the thumbs up, if you can hear me. Am I audible? Thank yes, you. Yes, we can Thank hear you. you. Thank you very much. Thank you. So it's 1.31 in London, which is where I am right now. I'm in the United Kingdom. Some of you are in, in India. Some of you are in Africa. So good afternoon to all of you and good evening to those of you who are in India and in Africa. Thank you, Ahmed, for putting up the message. And some of you have already put up the thumbs up. So thank you. Well done. I can see we're starting to get some chat messages, which is very good. Lots of engagement. Hope to see a lot of that as we go through the seminar. We're just going to hang on for about another minute or so, just to allow some any more latecomers to join. Thank you, Kamla. From Guyana. I used to have a lot of students from Guyana, South America. I think the term was uh, liming, where they say they're relaxing. We have people from Bangalore. So it's 9.33 in the morning in Guyana. And I believe it's just gone seven o'clock in the evening in for those of you who are from India. So lots of people from all over the world. Okay, so we'll start off now. It's uh, 1.34, and we'll start off now. So my name, uh, for those of you who haven't read my name at the bottom of the screen, my name is Vinod Siani. I am the CEO at Educate Me Group. A little bit about me. I was born in the United Kingdom, to be precise, in Wales, in a small city called Cardiff. I don't know if how many of you know, if you perhaps looked up United Kingdom at all, United Kingdom is made up of four states. Oh, yeah. Four states. One is, how many How many of you know what the states are? Anybody know the four states? Could you put it up in the chat? So central London, well London in London, London is in England. So England is, is one of the states, not central London. Central London is a city. Scotland, excellent. Somebody as Gurav Rai has put down Scotland. So Scotland is one state. Of, of four, three more left. Any more guesses? England, Wales, yep, that's England, Wales, Scotland, one more left. Who can guess the fourth and last one? Northern Ireland, well done, well done, well done. So Kamla, I think you got all four of them right, so well done, well done. So you're absolutely right. The United Kingdom is made up of four states, okay, four parts. It's made up from the top, 
which is Scotland. Then you move down to England. On the left, you move into I you move into Wales, and then Ireland, Northern Ireland, is a separate little island next to the United next to Great Britain, so to speak. Okay, so until two thousand, we were part of the EU. So we're no longer part of the EU. Come thirty first of December, year two thousand. So United Kingdom is now outside. Uh, Europe. Okay. Now, many, many years ago, I've been in the sector working in education for over 36 years. So I think I've got a little bit of experience. And from some of you can, who can see my gray hair, I've not aged. I've not aged that much at all. Anyway, we're going to now start the presentation. Um, I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to take you through a number of slides. This webinar, we are promoting our university partners at Bloomsbury Institute, which is in central London. OK, so I'm, we're going to we're going to run through a few slides and talk about what Educate Me Global is. And then we're going to hand it over to Bloomsbury University, our partners. And then we will kind of end it with me coming back on scene, telling you about the application process. And then, of course, we'll enter a kind of question and answer theme at the very end. So if I can ask you all, please, to kind of hold off your questions. And when we reach that stage, I'll ask you all to unmute yourselves and perhaps we can have a more formalized, engaging conversation thereafter. I'm sure a lot of you perhaps have got questions, and most of which will be answered through the presentation. OK, so I'm going to share my screen now. Right. If I can ask a couple of you, please, just to put your thumbs up to see if you can see my screen. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you, Ankit. And thank you, Harsha. Lots of chats coming in. Thank you very much. Right. So who are we? Educate Me is a UK-based educational organization that provides consultancy to students. Primarily, we offer rounded support for learners at all stages of international study. And that's me at the bottom, Vinod Siani, okay, CEO at Educate Me Group. What do we do? Our aim as a consultancy is to make quality education more accessible to students all over the world. So sometimes the students yourselves will find it very daunting, very difficult to begin. Where do I start my journey from? Who do I speak to? Are these people trustworthy? Will they take my money? Will I lose my money? How do I check they are genuine? These are all questions that we often get asked. And a number of things that we can do is we have our own website. We are on a number of accolades and awards. And you can check us on reviews, Facebook. And that will give you an idea of how genuine we are. Mostly genuine organizations don't tend to be all out and do adverts and do webinars and so forth. So you'll find that we are one of several or more that are out there that is a premium institution that genuinely wants to help students, okay? So some of our awards, so we are Pearson's uh, partners. We are UK Business Award finalists. And you can see a lot of badges at the bottom 
Uh, OET, Occupational English Testing, ICEF, is an organization that agents like us are accredited to. British Council, all of our, all of our councillors have undergone training. So you can go to the British Council and check in the British Council database of agents, and you can type in our name, Educate Me Group, and you'll see uh, a lot of our recruitment staff are already trained. Pearson's and Language Cert are testing language efficiency systems. So many of you have perhaps heard of IELTS. IELTS is one of the premium English proficiency testing centers or testing platforms. Pearson's and Language Cert are also up and coming. And there's nothing wrong in sitting your English proficiency test with Pearson's or Language Cert. They are well, rec well recognized through the governments at the United Kingdom and Canada and so forth, okay? What are the benefits? At Educate Me, we do not charge any counseling fee to any of our students, yeah? So there are some organizations and agents and consultancies who may say, well, for us to make your application, we will charge you 10,000 rupees or 20,000 rupees. Stay away from those type of organizations. We do not charge, we don't believe in charging any of our students any counseling fee. The reason why we don't charge is all of our universities are direct partnerships and we have an affiliation fee with which, which the university pays us for introducing students and enrolling students to their university. And that is why we don't need to charge you, our customer, okay? We also help students find jobs. So there are organizations in the United Kingdom, one of them called Student Circus, and we are partnered with Student Circus. They are a platform that helps international students find jobs. And so one of the benefits we have, unlike many other agents, is when you sign up with us, you also get access to this platform. Okay, so it gives you that acceleration of starting to look work, look for work in the United Kingdom whilst your application has started. So by the time you get into United Kingdom, you've already started making your headway. Does that make sense? One Vasco, perhaps you can look it up on Google, One Vasco used to be called VFS. VFS are the organization in the middle that works with you and the United Government in terms of your visa application. They are the largest organization that issues and makes applications for visas, whether you're going on a visitor's visa, a business visa, a student visa, your application will go through one Vasco. One of the benefits we have in being partnered with them is any application that we have as a direct student application will get a free preliminary check of their documents, meaning there is a 99.9% .9 of you getting a visa refusal if you go through this preliminary check with us, okay? And it's free to you as the student. Ask your agents, or ask any agents, do you do a free preliminary check with VFS? If the answer is no, there you go. Just so you're aware, the cost is $300, and we do this for free as part of our service. So I'm now going to hand over to uh, Bloomsbury Institute, our colleagues at Bloomsbury Institute. They will now take over and present their slides. And like I said, later on, we will come back to educate me and then we'll kind of go through the last bits of the presentation about how you make your applications through us. So uh, can I ask our colleagues at Bloomsbury Institute to now take on the screen, please? Sure. Uh, good afternoon, good morning, and good evening to many of you. Hi, Vinod, my name is Amandeep. Amandeep Singh, 
Uh, I'm no, sorry and I apologize that uh, I'm traveling now. Uh, I'll not be able to share my screen. Uh, sorry, I'll not be uh, turn on my video. I'm traveling now. It's it's already it's gonna going to be seven thirty in India. Right. So, okay. Uh, Shall so, I continue presenting the screen and maybe you can take me? Through sure. No worries. Can... You can present the screen and I will just go through the slides and I'll explain everyone. That will sure. be good for me. So sure. first of all, let me introduce myself. Uh, to you and to everyone, my name is Amandeep Singh. Uh, I work as the uh, recruitment international re recruitment head in India office. Uh, in Bloomsbury, we do also have office in India. Uh, I am an alumni of uh, London School of Business and Finance, LSBF. So currently I'm working with Bloomsbury Institute as a recruitment head for an international student. So for a Bloomsbury Institute, as uh, you already know that uh, we know they have already told you that we are located in central London. So this is a main benefit for the student who comes for an international student. It could be from India. We have a student from Africa. We have a student from Pakistan. We got a student from all over the world. So our main thing is we have a location because of uh, central London. So if students are doing the part-time job as well, they are uh, having accommodation as well to commute to the campus and come from campus to their work and from their accommodation, it's become very easy as we are located in central London. So being in central London for an international student, it's very, very easy to get a part-time job while they are in uh, located in central London. As we know, they have told you that they are going to, going to give you the access of student circus. Even as an institute, as a university, we will also give an access to a student of uh, student circus access to all of our student to whom we issue a CAS as well. But that's a good thing that we know that, well, that if you apply through uh, Educate Me, you will get access of student circus while during your application only. So the main benefit of this while you are sitting in your home country, before getting a CAS, before getting a visa, everything while your application is in our process, you can try to search for a part-time job, accommodation, and everything through student circles. So we will also give an access to a student circles to you while you are in your home country, before while we issue you a CAS. And we also provide a career support to an international student. That means it's not like that, that they will only work they uh, stay there for one year of a master program or for a higher education. But we will also give a career support. We have a well-being team as well. Uh, career support is just like that, that uh, after your graduation, uh, it's not like that, that you have to come back to your uh, home country. We will give you a career support, which will help you to find your job after you have completed your graduation as well. well. And number three, as it has been written here, free laptop and travel bursary, which we give. We give all international, not international, it's including the domestic as well. We give free laptop to all of our students. So they can, uh, there will be no interruption in their studies as well. Travel bursary to commute within London and first rate facilities like classes, campus, everything. You can, uh, Take a tour of our campus from our website. I will uh, request Alifia if she can just uh, ping our website address on a chat box so every time everyone can have it. It's www.bil.ac.uk. If someone from Educate Me can just ping the we uh, website address, that will be good. So uh, you can yeah, sorry, Amandi. We've got some testimonial videos to show. And yep, so uh, we will uh -huh. we will play those uh, as we go through the presentation. Sure, sure, no problem. So first rate facilities, classroom, campus, and everything. So our main thing is Bloomsbury is that we are located in central London. So that is the main thing for an international student because they can go there, they can do a part-time job as well, which will help there to finance, which will help them for everything while they are studying. We give 20 hours in a week during their terms and they can work unlimited during their vacation. So the English requirement, uh, as Vinod was talking, we do accept IELTS academic. 
we accept IELTS UKVA as well. So for IELTS academic as well as for UKVA, your score should be six overall with minimum of 5.5 in individual skill. We accept PTE academic, but that has to be a UKVA, not only PTE academic, PTE UKVA, that has to be a center base, not home edition. So for that, you need to score 65 overall, and it should not be less than 59 for individual skill. And the best thing is that if some student have not been able, not have the score in IELTS or in PTE UKVI, we also have our own internal uh, test for which we have been registered with a password skill plus test. You can go ahead and book that test from our website. There is a charges of 110 pounds for that, which is almost equal to uh, IELTS uh, UKVA, or if you can talk about IELTS Academy. So you can go ahead and book that password skill plus test from our website. Uh, you can go ahead and give that test. The score should be six overall and should not be less than 5.5 in the individual skill. So student don't have to worry about that. Okay, no, I don't have an IELTS. I don't have an IELTS UKVA or Academy. I have an PT academic, I don't have a UKVI, uh, then I'll not be able to uh, apply for Bloomsbury. It's nothing like that. If you have score is less, or if your uh, English language test has already been expired, it's been more than two years, you can always go ahead and book a test or password skill plus test from our website. And uh, you can give that test and you will get a result of that test within 48 hours. And if you want to do a practice of password skill plus test, they also give a practice test. For a practice test, there is a charges of 40 pounds. Uh, recently, uh, UKVA government, as uh, Vinod was telling, previously we used to accept language certificate, that is language cert. We used to accept only ESOL CELT B2. But now from this January from 2024, uh, UKVI has also uh, come to the point that language certificate academic, they have given that also as a CELT. So we accept language set, cert academic as well, as well as EOSL as well. So score you can see B2 for ESOL CELT and for language certificate academic 60% with all component at B2 and minimum 60 in or above, all right? Okay, so scholarship. Okay, so we do provide a thousand pound scholarship to all our students. Uh, it could be for undergraduate, it could be for masters, for postgraduate. It's a thousand pound scholarship we give. That's a course completion. That means after you have completed your course, you will get thousand pound as a scholarship to support your graduate visa. That means we also give two year graduate visa to a student. So after you have completed your graduation, you will get thousand pounds as a graduate to support your graduate visa. Now application deadline. So upcoming intake, what we have, that is a June. We have a three intake in a year. One is in June, one is in February, and one is in October. So upcoming intake we have, that is June, 2024. And the application deadline is 6th May, 2024. So please apply if you want, looking for a good job, good career in London, you want to stay in central London, please apply to educate me before 6th of May so we can process your application and we can try to issue you a CAS if all your documents, everything are satisfied, we will give you a CAS within 15 to 20 days. Okay, so the list of documents, what we need for an unconditional offer or for a CAS. So for an unconditional offer while filling up your application is we need your certificates, your academic certificates and transcripts, your English language test score, it could be IELTS Academy, UKVA, PTE, UKVA, or its language certificate or language academic, that certificate, your CV, your passport, if you have a passport now, or if you are already want to go and apply for it, then it's okay. Your photograph, and if you are applying for an MBA, there has to be a two-year managerial or supervisory experience. So if you want to, you don't have an experience, you are not working, you haven't worked anywhere, we always suggest to our student as well as to our partners, to our agent, 
to always ask a student to go for a MSc management because both our MSc management and MBA courses are been accredited with CIMA, that is a Chartered Institute Management, which has been, you'll also get certificate from them, both for MBA as well as for MSc management. Now that certificate is an extra diploma, which you can get, you can apply for it while studying, while doing your graduation with Bloomsbury, which will help you like that, like for an international student after they have completed their graduation, they don't have to work in Starbucks or in some CCD, something like that. If you got a CIMA certification, you are eligible to work as a supervisor as a managerial level in London because a lot of our students got placement in a company like KPMG. Uh, I heard everyone knows about the KPMG. That's the world's number one audit company. So our many students are working there as a supervisor or in a managerial level. So both MBA and MSc management, you will get CIMA certification from there. So if you don't have a work experience, don't worry, you can apply for MSc management as well. So now comes to the courses, what Bloomsbury Institute offered. Okay, so for an undergraduate, we have a BA Honours Business Management, one year top up, BSc Honours Accounting and Finance, one year top up. This is only for India. And for undergraduate, other program what we have for three years or for two year accelerated, that we can, you, anyone can apply for an international, but for India, it's a BA Honours Business Management one year top up, BSc Honours Accounting and Finance one year top up. And for postgraduate, we have MBA, we have MSc Management. And this two new courses, which we have introduced in October 2023 intake, that is MSc Accounting and Finance and MSc Finance and Wealth Management. Now, the reason why we have introduced these two courses for international student, because if you will get a passed out from these two courses, there are a lot of job opportunity in London, like working as a financial advisor or working as an insurance broker in London. So if you'll come here, you will pass out from these two new courses. There are a lot of job opportunity in London as well. So for postgraduate, it's MBA, MSc Management, MSc Accounting and Finance, and MSc Finance and Wealth Management. And for an undergraduate, we only have top up, top up for India student. Okay, so now making an application with Educate Me Group. I think we are working with Educate Me Group for a long time. They know the entire process. Uh, how uh, your application will be made through Bloomsbury and how we offer to a student, how we communicate with them, how we communicate to, with the student as well, how we support student uh, if they are from an international, like if there will be a language barrier, well-being, or if you have anybody have any disabled or specially able person, we provide support to them as well. So for making an application, how to make an application with Educate Me, I will uh, hand over to one of uh, my colleague from Educate Me, so they can guide you how to make an application of Bloomsbury from their website, from Educate on the Bloomsbury thank website. All thank right? you very thank much. Thank you very thank much, Manoj. Thank you, thank you. So um, we've got a little bit of an insight now from Bloomsbury. It's a central London location. There's lots of privileges. Um, they also work with Student Circus. So as Amandeep said, there are benefits that you can apply for part-time work in the United Kingdom before you enter United Kingdom. So whilst your application is ongoing with Educate Me, remember this service is not available at any other agent. If you're working with agents, do ask them, can I work internationally and are they working or part of student service? Are they a partner of student service? Okay, not many organizations, agents, etc., are working. We are very privileged to be working with student service. Okay. So the first step is we need to know your details. We need, you, we need to know a little information about you. Who are you? What do you want to study? 
What are your aspirations? So we need to get a little bit about an understanding about you. And for that, we ask you to go and visit our website, www.educateme.group. You download the form, register your interest for student for studying abroad. And then once you've completed the form, you can complete it online. Once you've completed it, please email it to hello at educateme.group. We will then get one of our counselors to then contact you and then progress your inquiry on a one-to-one, -one. okay? We've got some videos and testimonials, and this will give you some, some enlightenment on what service is like from the students' eyes. So it's not just us making a video, it's actually you're going to hear what it's like for, from the students' eyes in being in London, being at Bloomsbury Institute, working through Educate Me, and so forth. So I'm going to show you some links here. You can take uh, a snapshot using your phone. However, you, this recording will be available on our website later on. And so you can click on any one of these links. I'm just going to go on the first link. We're not going to play the entire video because I think some of these videos go on for about five or 10 minutes, but it, we will certainly have a look Now, do let me know if you can have if you can hear sound because sometimes these videos don't have sound. I don't think that is happening. Sorry. Sorry, Gurav, are you able to come on, please? Yes, or not. Just give yeah. me a second. Uh, Virod, may I share my screen for a second? Yes, please. Please go ahead. Yeah. Sorry, we're having to take on help of our IT support. Okay. Can you see my screen now? Yeah. So could you go to the second link? This is a this is a radio and okay. it's 11 minutes long. I don't want to play all 11 minutes. I think if we go to the second link, sure. that's it. That one, yeah, yeah. That's a bit better. Okay. If I were the film character, I'd probably be Kevin Hart. Um, he's really funny. He's really just living his best life. <laughs> I myself was an international student. When I came to this university, I paid um, all the fees. I couldn't get any student loans. I understood that this institution, if they're really willing to help me out and ensure that I succeed, it would be an institution worth investing in. So I came in for an open day and I fell in love with the Bloomsbury Institute immediately. I loved the campus and I loved the way I was treated by the staff members. They said the lecturers will know you by name and they're always available. And they put a lot of emphasis on, on supporting the students. Describing Bloomsbury is very hard. Um, I think one of the best ways to describe it from my personal experience is calling it a second home, where you really get taken care of, where everyone is supportive and make sure you succeed in whatever career path you choose. If someone's thinking about it, I'd say I was in the same boat as they are at the moment in time 
and this institution is definitely well worth investing in. Even if there is a little doubt, come to our open day and see for yourself. Excellent, thank you. Can I ask you to share this, the third video, please? Yeah. Kind of the past few years you know i've worked i've studied um and there was a point where i felt a bit lost like i didn't know what i wanted to do when i found out the opportunity of bloomsbury it actually gave me a chance to progress myself not just in the career but also make a better social life it makes me understand myself a bit more and improve my confidence immensely what i'm grateful for is the fact that I, I study in a field which i work in as well i manage it well because all of my colleagues and the director of my company are all supportive of me taking this route to do a degree my ambition in life is always to whatever i pursue to always make a difference what i love about bluesbury is they're supporting me into reaching that goal and the fact that they've given free laptops for even me as well i can have access anywhere Wherever you're going, wherever you are, Bloomsbury Institute is a place to study. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you very much. All right. If I can now take on the screen again, please. Thank you, Gaurav. Thank you. Right. At this point now, we have reached the end of our seminar. And what I would like to do, please, is ask people, please, to start sending in their questions or raise their hands if they have a question. And we will do our best to see if we can answer them. Before I do that, can I remind you all, please, to visit our website, www.educateme.group and remember to submit your student application form. It is just an initial inquiry form, and that will allow us to take on your details and then contact you and believe, and then progress your conversation, your inquiry forward, all right? Okay, so do we have any questions, please? Uh, hi, Mr. The questions are pouring in the chat box. Okay, let's have a look. Is there an upper age limit for MBA or LLB? Good question. It depends if you have significant work experience. We have had students in the past who have had a big gap from their studies, but if you have a, rel a relatable work experience, in the field that you want to study, then there is no age upper limit. Because of course, the, the people who are issuing you the visa will want to check, why do you want to study now? What is the relationship between what you're working on and what you want to study? And so long as those two can match up, then there is no question about why you want to study. It's something that you want to get better at, okay? Uh, we are an education and consultancy firm. How can we get connected with Educate Me? Um, okay, good question. If you, Alifia, how do you want to answer that? How would you suggest that uh, organizations who want to work with us connect with us? Oh, no, they can visit our website and fill in the agent form as well. So do we have, yeah. we have an area called the agent form? And they can fill that out. All right. So yeah. if you are wanting to work with Educate Me Group, firstly, thank you for showing interest. What you do is go onto our website. There is a tab called there is a tab called Agents Group or Agents, and there is an inquiry form. If you fill that out, you can we can then connect you with that. Okay, sir. I want to pursue. I didn't get that one. Is there full scholarships for? Meritia students. 
Uh, sir, I've done my 10th and 11th from board, 12th board from Stadium Lankans. I, yes, of course you can. So long as you've got the English ability, so long as you can show that you have English proficiency and you can do it through one of the tests, yes, you can. All right. We need to make sure that when you put your application, you do, you have completed 12th standard, you have got academic certificates to show, you have got the English capability, you have got the financials to support you, then yes, uh, there is nothing wrong with that. You can make an application. Uh, I want to do an MBA, but I don't have any work experience. Well, it depends how long your gap is from your education, what your age is. If, for example, you have you're 25 years old and you passed your education when you were 18, some seven years ago, you don't have work experience. There's a substantial gap. And that gap will be questionable. So how would you answer that question if I were to ask you, what have you been doing for the last seven years? What it kind of puts down your whole reason of wanting to go and study. Okay, is IELTS score mandatory? If you have good English in your education, I believe 75% plus, then you may not need to do an English proficiency test. It does depend again on the universities that you apply for, but it is a good question. If I can ask that you fill out your inquiry form, and what we will do is when we receive your inquiry, we can ask the university depending on your academic qualifications. Uh, I got something about Sri Lanka. I think I saw something pop up about Sri Lanka. Vinod Mastermind College wants to ask that they are from Sri Lanka and if we have any agents from Sri Lanka right now. Uh, we don't have, well, we have one agent, but we are still working with them to confirm an agreement with them. But we're happy to talk to anybody who wants to work with us in becoming an agent. Is there any scholarships? The university do offer scholarships. There is uh, a blanket scholarship, which generally universities give as an incentive. So the advertising fee might be, for example, 15,000 pounds or 15 lakhs. And generally universities will give as an incentive, one lakh or 1,000 pound incentive. So the fees that you pay are 14 lakhs, not 15, although 15 would be the advertising. There may be additional scholarships or bursaries available, but again, universities tend to make those decisions based on your academic history. So what kind of edu education you've had, what is your scores in your education? They would look at your academia profile and then decide whether they can merit you more scholarship. Is there a 100% scholarship available with tuition fees available? No, there isn't. You have to be somebody of sub, sub significant sport athlete, perhaps. What is the interest in the university sponsoring you 100%? What would they gain by giving you 100% scholarship? You know, think about it that way. If you're wanting to have 100% scholarship, what have you got to gain that the university can benefit from promoting you, okay? Is the scholarship exam easy to crack? Well, all exams are gonna be difficult. You have to revise. However, now that the marketplace is open for several English proficiency platforms, remember there used to be just IELTS and IELTS used to dominate the entire market. Now you have Pearson's, you have language cert. Um, and so a lot more have started to come up and a lot more are now getting much more competitive. 
they can becoming easier. And so you, your, you yourself will need to check, what do you think is easiest for you? We do language search, we do Pearson's, we find from the student history that we have, some students find Pearson's much easier, some find it language cert easier. It really does depend on yourself, okay? The fees are roughly the same, to be honest with you. Uh, can you submit your details here? Oh, sorry, that's somebody else. Hi, Zero. Sorry, thank you, Gura, thank you. <laughs> I am an athlete and played nationals. I got a gold and tons of certificates. Well, you never know. Daksh, thank you for that message. You never know. Put your application forward. Show us all your certificates. If you have any photographs, if you've been in any newspapers, all of that helps in us helping you create a profile. We can then put it in front of the university and say, look at this student. We have this student. He can bring you lots of benefits. And then the university might think, you know what? Yes, that's possible. Let's speak to the student and see what we can do. I don't think it will close any doors. If anything, I think it will open doors for you. Whether you will get 100% scholarship, that I don't know. Will you get more scholarship than the student next to you? The answer is likely to be yes. Thank you, Prem. Not a problem at all. I hope I've been of any of some use to you. Every week we put on webinars with our university partners. So I'm grateful for those of you who have joined today for Bloomsbury. I hope it's been an enlightenment for you and certainly giving you some thought. Um, if there's any other questions, please keep them coming in. Uh, we, know, uh, we are missing out on one. I think Natasha, it's from Natasha Campbell. And I think she joined a bit late. So her okay. question is, how do I get started? And can I also get scholarships? Right, okay. So some of the questions we've been having already, isn't it? Um, right, okay. So how do I get started? So you would get started by firstly, if you think about it, how do we know who you are? We need to connect with you. And so we ask you, please, to go to our website and download an application form. There you will be asked to fill out the application form with your details, give as much information as you can, so we can then talk to you and then progress the inquiry with you. Okay, we can then just look at what are your aspirations? How much do you want to spend on your studies? Where do you want to study? Do you want to study in, in the United Kingdom? And for those who are here at the very beginning, we talked about that there are four uh, states in the United Kingdom. You may want to study in Scotland because you have relatives in Scotland uh, and so forth, or Northern Ireland or England. So you need to kind of think about where you want to do. Is there any PhD programs in management? Well, PhDs is all about your dissertation, isn't it? And it's about your specialism. So you can specialize a PhD in sports. It doesn't have to be in management, but yes, there is management PhDs available. You will, we will have to work with you in looking at what universities you want to go for, what are your fee aspirations. Um, and of course, then we will have to approach the university. The universities will have to do a viva with you to check whether it's something that they're interested in taking you on for a PhD student. Um, hi, you. Vinod, I'm back here. Uh, sorry for getting disconnected. I have shared in the agent toolkit and the form for the agents who wish to ah, okay. want to be part of us. There you go. There you go. So the link and so, everything is shared in here. Thank you very much. If I can just quickly go through those links then with everybody. Yeah. Um, if you're wanting to become an agent and work with Educate Me, please use the outreach partner form. If I can ask you to quickly perhaps take a snapshot using your phone or a screenshot using your computer so you can take note of these. Thank you, Alifia. Uh, there's one question Ankit would like to know. 
is MSc management course a good job opportunity in London? The initial, the very first question that he had was, he, Ankit Sharma, he doesn't have an experience in MBA, though he's an MBA graduate. Okay. Um, MSc management. Okay, let's talk about management first. Um, management, MSc management, it's a great platform to have depending on what you want to do. All companies will have a need for management in some way. It will be an opportunity for you to grow in your role, whether you want to do HR, whether you want to do marketing, whether you want to do uh, business development, whether you want to run your own company. So management is something that definitely you can have a strong foundation and you can work in any direction you want. Okay, so what's one of the great things about management? Anything else? I hope I answered your question. Is there any more questions? Sorry, I can't see if there's any more questions. No, Vendor. <laughs> okay. Well, I'd like to say thank you for everybody who's joined this webinar. It's been really engaging. I have found it really entertaining and very interesting in talking to all of you. I very much have enjoyed myself. I hope you too have. Um, if I've not, if I'm not getting any more questions now, then I will put an end now to this webinar. And I wish you all a very good evening and a very good morning to our friends in Guyana as well. You know, just one last question. I think it's a sure. yeah. Rakesh. One as well. It's from mm -hmm. Rakesh. Rakesh wants to know, is there any benefits for full IELT score of nine? No, no, um, there isn't any benefits. Um, it's not that it's going to get you extra scholarship at all. Um, if anything, of course, you will just very easily pass any English test, any English interview. Um, a good score you have definitely of nine. Um, yeah, there wouldn't be any other benefit if that makes sense. I assume you want to go into some very skilled uh, qualification. I don't assume it's management, possibly engineering or biological. Okay. No more questions. No more questions. All right. Um, I'm going to stop sharing my screen. And if, yeah, people can just reach out to me using our website or reach out to any member of our Educate Me family and uh, let us take it from there. Uh, tuition fees, I've just got a message just come up. Jaya Prakash, uh, what is the tuition fees for an MSc? Generally, a tuition fee, I would like to have a broad figure of 15,000. That's 15 lakhs. It might be cheaper depending on what university you want to choose. If you're not looking for a high ranking university and fees is something that you're conscious of, then you can get courses in the region of 12 to 13,000 pounds. Okay, so that's 12 to 13 lacks. Thank you, Ranish. I hope you have found the information useful. Do we have scope to work with the Russell Group? Yes, we do. We do have scope to work with the Russell Group. However, the fees, of course, understandably, are going to be substantially higher than 13,000. You know, we have a question from Eric as well. Yeah. Eric is a second year student studying IT in India. Is okay. it possible for him to study in the UK? Yes. Yes, it is. So Eric has been studying IT in India. He's in his second year. Second, Did, did I hear that right? He's in his yes. second year? Second year student, yes. So what does that mean, second year student? Does that mean he's in... He's in 
What does yes. that mean? He's he's in second year college. Second, second year of yeah. Right. Second so he's <clears throat> so he's he's doing a bachelor's undergraduate degree and he's in his second year. So he's not completed his undergraduate yes. course. Is that okay. right? Correct. Okay. So he wants to exit midway through his undergraduate course and come to the United Kingdom. Yes, it's possible. However, one of the questions, if I was the university, is why are you dropping out from your current college? Is it that you're not enjoying it? Is it that finances are difficult? So if, you're, if you think you have the answers for that, then by all means, there's no problem. And you know what? It costs you nothing to start an application and submit it. You can, know, you can get application answers from the university, from us. So there's no reason why you can't start an application and just see where it goes. Okay, I hope I've answered that. Thank you, Eric. Eric, did you did I have, did I get that right? Eric Mansa is in India. I don't think Eric Mansa is in India. I think Eric Mansa is perhaps from Africa, Guyana. If I'm Ghana, I believe. If if I am getting Eric right, I have spoken to him quite a lot of times. So he is <laughs> he is being out there right now. No problem, no problem. All right. All right. This one uh, last from iPhone six plus. Is there any legal education program? I'm from Africa. Oh, presently studying in India. Wow. So we got the answers. Both of us got it right. Okay. Yes, sorry, Ali. This one student he wished to know: Is there any legal education program in the UK? legal education yeah. program mm -hmm. um well all education programs are are legally required to ensure that the education they deliver is correct and goes through a regulatory system yeah, um about law law program about law so do, yeah. do, does he mean are there law programs in the United Kingdom. Is that what he means? Yes. Right. So one of our partners are, in fact, the University of Law. Um, Alicia, you could probably tell us when that webinar is happening with yes. the University of Law. Maybe Eric or whoever it was uh, who was interested in law. In fact, Eric was IT, I believe, uh, who was interested in law could, could attend one of those webinars uh, that we have planned uh, later on with the University of Law. They're also one of our partners. Yes, it's in the end of March, probably, yes. Ah. And we'll be uh, also promoting that on the website. So. Ah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> so whoever asked that question, we have a webinar planned for the University of Law in about two weeks' time. Okay. No more questions coming, Vinod. And no more questions. I think we've time. answered all most of them. Most of them. And it's time all also of eight eight p.m. So we have completed the meeting time also. Yeah, yeah. All right then. Thank you very much, everybody. Um, Gura Valifi, if I can just connect with you after this meeting, please. Is yes, all. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Bye -bye. Thank you all. Bye -bye. Thank you everyone for joining in today. Have a great. Thank evening. you. So much. Good evening.